So jumping in today, it's going to be all about running some vaults and I'm going to test myself with some more architect vaults again. Um, and I'm yeah, today is supposed to be update day. Like there's supposed to be an update pushed at the time of me recording. Um, apparently that's what Iskal had posted on Twitter is that there was going to be an update for this pack coming out this evening. I'm of course probably not going to get to do that update till tomorrow. Um, so I'm still going to avoid crafting with catalysts just for right now because I want to save some of my stuff, but I am going to jump back into an architect vault. And this time I kind of know how this works. So I can take a crystal just like this and go ahead and apply that build vault to it. And then I can go ahead and go, hey, I can go ahead and apply some stuff to this. Like this right here would give me Phoenix, hunger and weakness in the vault. Um, but I could also put trivial in there or healing difficult slowness. There's all kinds of cool stuff that we can do. Phoenix would be nice because this one, um, this is all the items you enter with will be restored on death. But I think the Phoenix lets you still have the chance of completing it and getting an artifact. I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to put a uh, special thing on here that I actually have, uh, have not done. So uh, to, to many crystals. So we're going to talk about that here in a second, but healing. Let's see. What else do we have? I just want to use up what we currently have available to us. And I don't want to put anything crazy on here. I just want to put something so we don't get locked. You know what? Lucky but frail might be a good idea. Frail, unfortunately, does cause us to take more durability. But I think having lucky is going to help us with uh, with stuff. So um, I would like definitely to have some more luck. You, you know, you never not have enough luck. So yeah, I can put this on here. Yeah, frail is going to give us 50% durability damage which kind of hurts, uh, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Anything else, this will reroll stuff. We have safe zone, but daycare. Um, I would love safe zone, but let's see. Plentiful, difficult, Phoenix. Again, rush, frenzy. Man, all those are really nasty. Ooh, you know what? Safe zone, poisonous, and hunger. I think that is a perfect one right there. I will take that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this made up. And then I want to show you what kind of thing we're going to put on this to hopefully protect us just in case, you know, I don't want, uh, I don't want what happened last time to happen again. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure of that this time. So to protect myself, I'm going to use this, a soul flame. And I just apply this to the crystal, or at least I should be able to apply it to the crystal. Can I not? Can you not apply a soul flame to a build -a vault? That feels wrong. I feel like I should be able to do that. Maybe that Phoenix tired and slowed is going to be worth putting it on here then. Tired and slowed. Phoenix. I mean, that's... We're going to have to do that. I'm I'm too scared to not put Phoenix on here. So this will give us poison, hungered, tired, and slowed. Um, I think we'll be fine so long as we use something like this in here. Mining fatigue... So that has mining fatigue on it. So we'll definitely need uh, mining fatigue. We'll do hunger immunity and poison immunity. Leaving us with just slowed, which I think will be fine. It'll, it, we won't really feel that much slower. So I think I'll go with that one. And we should be good for this vault. I thought I was going to be able to put a soul flame on this, but apparently you can't. That's scary, actually, because what if you just, what if you roll, like, a locked in there? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, let's, let's run this thing. I, I think I'm, I mean, I'm pretty much ready to go. Yeah. I just need to make sure <laughs> I don't fall into the void fluid, right? Void fluid is bad stuff. Chosen, do not fall into void fluid. <laughs> Simple as that. All right, let's go ahead and lock and load. And let's do this. May the vault gods be with us. Oh boy. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go in just yet. Uh, during the live stream, I did prep something and it's this. So I now have trash cans. <laughs> Believe it or not, these are all trash cans. Uh, they basically are storing a bunch of trash items, a lot of items that I end up mining up. So I end up with this little bit of storage space, but believe me, it's so nice. Like, 
for example, what's inside these. It's a bunch of random blocks and stuff that I encounter a lot in the vault. So it's going to be nice to be able to bypass all of that. So with that said, and my trash ready to go, we're ready to run a vault. And not just any vault. This is going to be one where we have to type. Let's pop in. All right. So we have that lucky. This room is awful and scares me now. But that's what we have to deal with. So I right click this. So we have uh, city streets. Let's do west. City streets. That is going to be the sewer room, I hope. And we are going to go west. We're going to go this way. Man, that, yeah, that floor makes it really scary. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to get my pick ready. Because I'm almost positive that's got, yeah, city streets are the one that I really want to be in. Should I wait for my timer? I'm going to go ahead and just jump down. Oh, that lucky. I already feel the luck. All right, and just like that, I need to go ahead and go through. Okay, so we have pixel art, which we can't do. X marks room is going to be nice. Let's do west. It's going to add some time to us. But I, I think the X mark is going to be way better on us. And there we go. We're unlocked. Be something good. Come on, X marks. There's a chance that it could roll nothing. There is a chance. We just go down. We wait a moment. It's not going to be chess, I don't think. Yep, it's a bad room. So, unfortunately, we wasted a little bit. You never know with these rooms. Always a chance. Let's go ahead and see what the next one's going to be. Ooh, aquarium room, spider's nest. Aquarium is plus in seconds, but we get to... Oh, man. West is so good. I'm going to vote for that. All right, so we're heading west. Aquarium room, it is. And we should have time to go ahead and loot this. It looks like just a little bit of ore we're getting from this. Not Maybe it wasn't so worth it? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. I did get some escalium from here, though, so maybe that, that's telltale sign that, that was actually kind of worth it. As you can see, my trash cans, though, they are doing a fantastic job of keeping up with everything and keeping it just out of my inventory. Which is the whole reason I set it up that way. All right, so we got spider nest. We got crowded on west, or we can go south, which is minus five seconds. Let's do west. I believe it's just crowded on that specific room. So I do need to keep that in mind. It doesn't stay crowded the whole time. And what room do we get? We got a spider room, which I will take. Unfortunately, it's going to be a crowded one, though. All right, so we should be able to go to the next vault. Or at least click it. <laughs> Another X marks room south. Let's do this. We still have 22 minutes left. So we should be we should be good on time still. Woo! It can get kind of confusing too on your way back. Like if you don't make your way back. But I shouldn't be too stressed. Because at least I know if I die, we get all of our items back. So. Alright, another X marks room. I'm going to go ahead and just dive down. Ooh. Oh. So I guess it already knew that we were coming down here. Please don't be another bad room. Oh, man. Another bad one. That is taking time off. This is not lucky. This was a lucky vault, but not super lucky, as you can see. And I know when I say that, I'm not meaning that I think luck applies to the vault. Luck just applies to the chests. A lot of people actually get that confused when I talk. All right, so we're going to add 10 seconds. Let's go west. And we can add 10 seconds to the vault. Or, sorry, minus 10 seconds from the vault and give it crowded. Because mushroom forest or random could be anything. And we get a crowded vault with a lava room. Luckily, we, uh, we don't take lava damage. So this is going to be one that I kind of just... Break the chest and just hope for the best here. I just wait it out, really. All right, let's see what our next room is going to be. Ooh, we get gilded chest, two times gilded chest, or crystal caves. I'm going south. 
I want that two times gilded chests. No telling what it's going to lead us to. But I definitely want to go there. Ooh, there's gilded chests just in the hallway. Oh, this is awesome. Look at all the gilded chests. And we have that lucky. Now this is nice. click this again rainbow forest end world hmm i like the end world uh rainbow forest let's do east trying to get the best that i can out of this i'm not really trying to just up and complete this vault but i am uh, definitely wanting the good stuff out of here we have one minute to complete the bottom section that should be easily done All right, we're ready to move on to the next. Let's see what this has to offer. So we have Yellow Brick Road. Ooh, Dragon's Lair. 100% Dragon's Lair. That's going to be nice for us. So let's hit up this Dragon's Lair. Look at all the gilded chests. It's just so much here. Now, I don't know if a lot of this is blocked. It does seem like it is which is good. I was making sure we were picking up a lot of the yellow blocks, which we are. Because this is one of those areas that are super nice. So take a look underneath. So if we can just pop up under here. We can definitely get a lot of these items. We need to go ahead and complete this. Oh, we can get another Dragon's Lair. I mean, I think it's worth it. Definitely getting another Dragon's Lair. Oh, I gained favor, which means I must have uh, I must have hit this pretty good. Let's see. If we gained favor, I gained favor from Tenos, most likely. Which means we are now at zero on Tenos' favor. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, after we do this Dragon's Lair, we probably need to start heading back, I think. Potentially. Wait, did I just completely break? Hold on. Where's my next one? I I can't go. I can't I literally can't go anywhere. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, my next obelisk like is gone. That's crazy. Oh, well I guess we got to head back. I guess I'll clear out the rooms as best I can on the way back, but I literally must have broken the base because it's not down there. Weird. So I think I'm going to spend my last few minutes just hollowing this area out, grabbing any last chest I can get my hands on. And honestly, I have five minutes left, but I have learned my lesson to not play with the timer on this one. Yeah, definitely learn to be careful and just whatever I get, <laughs> just be happy with it. Oh man, because there was a lot of loot in that one. Let's see, vault goodies. 
Wow, believe it or not, we did not get a lot of all diamonds, that's for sure. Uh, what all did we get? Random drops. We got an echo, which is great. Let's say that's worth it in itself. And we got a lot of cores and gifter statues. Those are worth it all on their own. So, pretty decent, I must say. Not to mention the vault gear and stuff that we got. That spawner, by the way, I believe that is a bug. Like, we should not technically have an eye spawner. I don't know why, but we have it. It might break when we place it. I'll go ahead and keep it just in case, but we did end up getting one somehow. Um, and then what else? N just a bunch of loot. So gear. I would say that was a pretty decent run, and we also gained favor from Tenos, which is pretty awesome. All right, so I do have enough statues. I can go ahead and pop these in. I wonder how much that... Oh, that was 3%. So apparently all the regular gifter statues are 3%, and the, these are 5%. So yeah, definitely the next one going in will give me an Omega statue. Please be something good. Something, it could be anything. Come on. Uh, Soul Sand is something I don't have. I do have Terracotta. We're going to go with Soul Sand. I actually like the idea of Soul Sand. These things are so big. All right, Soul Sand it is. And we have another Omega statue ready to go. Look at that. Man, all of this. I'm going to go ahead and save these for later. Um... But yeah, it seems like every time, every day, <laughs> we end up getting, rolling enough statues to get another one. It, these things roll so fast now. Ah, man. It, you get so much more loot, like, in the vault runs. It's it's just, it's it's crazy. So I noticed I, I kind of have, like, an excess amount of cheese and tomatoes. Um, and I noticed I can just use bread to make pizza and combine that with this. And I can make quite a bit of pizza here. Um, so I do have 77. I have quite a bit of pizza that we can also just cram down our throat. Because I want to get really close to level 100. Like, I want to be at, like, 98, roughly, maybe. I should be able to get close to 98. Um, I just want to be right at the edge of level 100. So that way, any time we want to be at level 100, we can just snap our fingers and bam, we're at level 100. If only eating was a little bit faster. But yeah, we're going to get there pretty quick. I'm going to eat just a few burgers. I'm going to eat all of this pizza. This pizza, by the way, gives you like 1%, 0 to 1%, uh, whereas these give you 0 to 3%. 3% is, is quite a bit. Uh, but that 1%, 0 to 1%, uh, it can give you absolutely nothing. It's kind of rough. Um, and then I'm also going to open up all of my cards. Uh, let's see, the vaults. I'm gonna open up all of my boxes. I have 230 here. I have 277 relic boosters. I'm gonna open up all of those and hope that we actually get a complete set because we really only need to complete two things. We're getting really close. I just, I'm hoping to have all of them before long. You know, you never know. It's, it's all RNG, so really, we're just at the whim, whim of the uh, random game mechanic. You know, we just gotta wait for numbers to roll. So, I have done it! I have eaten enough burgers now to put me at level 101. And we still have more burgers and pizza to eat. Like, I went ahead and put the stuff away. Th this right here, we are at 101. We have now made it to level 100. Things are going to start changing on us. And I mean a lot of things. Let me explain. For one, I went ahead and I, I have spec'd into speed. So I put one more point into speed. That was five. And then at 10, I had to put uh, 10 points into level three of this, which will give us the flawless gear. Most likely rare, but a high chance for epic. So that'll be crafted gear. We're going to do that here in a second. But the big change is no longer will we gain vault experience from completing vaults. The only way now is by crafting either pizza. We can also craft, uh, let's see, the soup or stew. So we can craft stew, which is another way, mystery stew, which gives us a chance of 20, 40, 60, or 99% levels. Or... We can get our hamburgers in the runs and uh, we can craft those hamburgers at the end of the run and eat them. Those are our ways of gaining vault levels at this point. 
So moving forward, <laughs> uh, the main thing that we get out of the vaults is just loot, which is good. And speaking of loot, we now have another tier change, which means that I'm probably going to have to change out my danks again and make sure that uh, cores and stuff drop because we should be getting, I think, a different level of cores uh, that are dropping and armor is going to be different that is going to drop. So with all of that change, oh boy, uh, there's there's a lot. I was not expecting to get to level 100, but I couldn't stop myself. I had to, I had to do it. I had to do it. And the one thing that I'm about to get started in is crafting armor. So we have 281 scrap and we have 2008 vault dust. We should be crafting, I think, tier two gear. Tier two gear should be rolling now, which is going to change everything for us. Um, so let's take a look at vault gear. Let's see. Uh, let's see, actually gear? No, gear does not work that way. Um, let's take a look, actually, what do we need most? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because our current gear is really nice. So it'd be kind of hard to bypass just anything. We can boots is going to reduce our speed. But here's the thing. Even with these off, we're we're still fast. So even with the boots off, we're pretty fast. It's basically the same as what we were now that we have that bonus with them on. I don't even really notice much of a speed change. It is very, very slight. So that's a thing. Um, so it really doesn't matter what we roll. So I'm going to do some leggings because at least I guess rolling those. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and make 64. That is all we can craft out of this. Um, it's just making this stuff. That's going to be a little bit more expensive. Perfect. So I'm going to craft some of this. And let's try out some leggings. So this is going to be flawless. And how does this roll? This is going to be interesting. It shouldn't roll a common. I guess it could roll a common. It says most likely rare. Uh, it has a high chance of epic. So that's basically, that's a pair of leggings. I don't know why I did leggings. That leggings is, is not bad, not better than what we have. How would you know it's tier two though? That's going to be the thing that I don't understand. <laughs> let's do boots. Because boots are definitely a thing that I'm going to need. We'll roll three different ones. And this is just going to be a luck game. Honestly. Come on. Give me Omega. Omega. Come on. Actually, I do have a pair of Omega boots. The problem is, is the level. Okay. So none of these are good. Oh, man. I guess we're going to be stuck with our gear for right now for a little while. I did want to try out an axe. Um, so I do want to maybe try a vault axe and try out these and see what we can potentially get from this. Cause I would love to get something that's a little bit better at attacking than our sword. That does a lot more solid damage. Ooh, that right there, that epic is pretty good, but wow, no repairs. Come on, on my gear, it's just not rolling good. I have a feeling this is going to take a while. This is Withering Cloud with 12.2. This is the best one I've, I feel like I've gotten so far. Man, the problem is, it's like, it doesn't roll. It's not rolling any modifiers. Like, I should be able to get some modifiers on this. Like, this is a rare. That's a pretty crummy one. Oh, man. All of these are pretty bad. Like, like really bad rolls. I was hoping for way better. So I think out of all the axes that I ended up finding... Or not finding, but rolling. This is probably the best one, unfortunately. And I did go ahead and max the levels out on it. Uh, it does have weakening cloud, but I would have preferred to have anything else, honestly, on it. Uh, the attack speed modifier is kind of nice. It, it does swing a bit faster. Is it better than my sword? I just, I don't know. Like, my sword, I can definitely swing faster. It does have some sweeping edge. But with an axe, what does it look like when you put, like... Like, would I even want sharpness on this axe? I don't know. Well, with this, I'm definitely going to have to just test out my gear and see how it works in the vault at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and open up my mystery boxes and open up my relic booster packs. 
Um, but I think we'll have to wait till potentially next episode, I think, to find out what is in the vault, what we should do, and I think next vault run, next episode, we'll end up using some key pieces for some treasure. I do have enough echo. We do roll echo like a lot. Every vault run, we get like at least one or so. So it is really nice that I can just like craft a key and not really have to worry about it. Uh, but I can now open all of these up, which will most likely just yield just, yeah, my, the standard stuff that I always roll. And from the relic booster packs, didn't, yeah, didn't get anything. I, I don't think that we uh, didn't already have. This is the warrior set. This is another part of the element set. And this is T-Wolf's boots. We have literally every, every one of these things. It's from the miner set. Miner set. Is there a full pickaxe from the miner set? This is a warrior set. That goes there. There we go. Now we have a full set. <laughs> and then that goes there. We're still missing the one thing. Um, I believe it is the, what is it called? Emote. Um, it is the, wow. I'm gonna have to go through all this. I'm, I'm trying to think of the name of the actual emote. I don't know why I can't think of the name of the actual emote. Um, but it is the, uh, the Binding of Isaac emote. <laughs> That's what we're missing. I just can't remember the actual name. Well, guys, I think I've had enough excitement for one day. Got uh, to level 100. Man, the effort and amount of time it has taken to get there. Let's just pull up these statistics here. 14.48 days worth of playtime in that statistics. Yes, yeah, since last death, it's been four days. Oh, man. It is, uh, it is quite crazy. The sheer amount of items and stuff picked up and all this craziness amount of mobs killed i mean if we just go through here and just oh man it, yeah there's there's all kinds of craziness going on in here like skeletons with this but yeah anyways it's been it's been a crazy ride so far and of course i am still looking forward to uh see where this pack leads in the future here so of course i do however want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video and that's going to go to Lukey. Thank you so much for your amazing support by the way over on the Discord. Becoming a Discord premium member and of course guys if you are interested in supporting this channel and supporting the videos I make one of the best ways to do it is of course becoming a premium member over on the Discord. Not only does that help me but it also grants you guys some awesome perks like I don't know a Vault Hunter server. I We have three modded servers up currently at the moment so be sure to check that out. Those are exclusive to those who are either Patreon, uh, Twitch subscribers, um, or through this method with uh, with Discord Premium as well. So be sure to check that out. There's a lot of awesome perks that you get over on the Discord. So uh, feel free to join. Uh, this Discord is discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. Also check me out on Twitch because I do live stream there two days a week as of right now on uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will, of course, see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.